Hello and welcome, PML fans. I am your host, Joe Zamora here. And with me, we got the coach of the Chikudami Shurukans, Christopher. Welcome, Christopher. Fred, thanks for having me, Joe. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. Always good to have you on. Um, So how would you feel about the draft? Everything go over well? Yeah, yeah, it went really, really well, especially in my tier two, I think. Um, yeah, I, I didn't get sniped, so uh, that's that's really fun. And um, yeah, I, I'm really proud of the team that um, we are presenting to the fans today. All right, man. Um, so I guess we could start off with: Did you get what you wanted for your first pick? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was targeting Togekiss and Cinderachi, so I, I was really happy when uh, Cinderay slipped. Uh, until my selection um, I was I think eight overall so um, I, I was really happy to have Cinderace uh, available mm -hmm. yeah certainly surprised Cinderace fell so far and that's a very good pick you got there especially with the liberal ability available yeah yeah especially with um, everyone maxing uh, I knew um, having Cinderace uh, was giving me a lot of versatility in my team and you know, it's really the um, the identity. Sorry for my English. I wanted to give to give to my team. So uh, yeah, Cinderace Libero uh, will obviously be a huge problem for my opponents. Oh yeah, man. And um, how do you feel overall about your team? Does it work pretty well together? Yeah, yeah. I have great cores. Um, just you know, my three first picks with um, Togzapex, Tangros, and Cinderace. Uh, Cinderace, not Cinderace, sorry. Um, <laughs> it will... I don't know why, I'm always missing the names um, in English, but, um, you know, that, that core, it's a big grass, fire, and uh, water type core, so it will be really hard to break for my opponent. Um, it will allow me to potionate myself well with Cinderace. Um, and, you know, the guard, I have uh, Garbodo as well, um, Gardevoir, and I have another core. Um, if I look to my team, and um, I, I think it will work really well, you know, because um, I have, for example, Tuxapex, who is pretty weak to ground, um, Tangro to resist to ground, I have Noivern as well to cover that, so um, I'm really happy, um, you know, and when people will prep for my team, they will probably, like, try to um, have ground coverage for Tuxapex and, like, Magnezone, but having... Uh, I'm on like tank growth. Noivern will really um, help me. So yes, uh, I think it's fair to say that um, I have a really great team chemistry. Oh yeah, man. And um, for your tier five pick, you actually wanted to get more Pico, but you ended up getting Garbodor since you ran out of the time uh, primarily. But then you ended up picking up Magnezone. Do you think that worked out better in your favor? Um, no, I don't. I think more Pico was a steal. Uh, in tier five, I wanted initially I wanted Zoro, Zoroark, um as my tier five. I think it was a big uh, steal, and um, yeah, it, 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 Casper took it. And after that, I wanted more people for coverage. But uh, you know, sadly, um, I, I was working, so the timer kind of played against me. But um, Magnezone is such a great one, and he can accomplish so much. So I think it, in, in the end, it it worked pretty well. Mm, okay, and. Uh... Do you plan on changing anything on your team uh, up until week one? No, 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 not for the first week for sure, but um, maybe Garbador, you know, um, in the um, uh, in the course of the season. But, you know, it can be a great uh, Dynamax option against uh, some teams. So I don't know if I'll keep it because um, I, I think the league will be really offensive in the sense that everything can Dynamax. Um, a lot of mana have access to like max or stream, so speed control will be huge. And Garbodor having weak armor uh, is definitely giving me uh, a lot of options out there. Oh yeah, going from bulky to fast, it, it can certainly tilt your team in a good direction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, what's your favorite Pokemon that you drafted in the draft? Um, uh, in the beginning, I thought uh, we could like. For example, draft a tier four um, with our, our first pick, mm -hmm. but um, realizing that we couldn't, uh, I was targeting Noivern as my first pick overall, actually. So I would okay. say that Noivern is my favorite pick, um, 
because uh, he's one of my favorite Pokemon, but uh, he has access to Frisk, Max Stream. Um, he, he has an excellent speed tier as well. So uh, I'm really hyped about Noivern, but um, I would say our Master as well, with um, the possibility to have like Shell Smash, um, like the classic set with Power Herd, Meteor Beam, plus Shell Smash. I think uh, it's a Pokemon that uh, it will shine and maybe um, it will be tier three next season. Yeah, and um, certainly uh, the Boom Burst set uh, Noivern is gonna be fun with the Throat Spray. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he has so many sets. Um, he has uh, also access to Defog as well, so uh, it's really nice to uh, have on the team. All right, and yeah, and uh, that's gonna also uh, make you wonder who you're gonna put the heavy duty boots on, Cinderace or Noivern. Uh, probably Cinderace. I don't know. It will depend, <laughs> of course, on um, on my matchup. But yeah, I'm aware that fire types kind of uh, they're not they're not bad. But with the rocks and singles, it, it's complicated to like not bring boots on fire type mods. But um, you know, uh, it will depend on my matchup for sure. Yeah. Um. So without giving too much away, how do you plan on making this team work? Um, obviously, you know, uh, I think I have the best defensive core in the league. Um, I don't want to brag, but, you know, having uh, access to Toxapex and Tangrowth is, is just nasty. With Regenerator, uh, it will certainly me, it will certainly uh, allows me to, like, set up or just potion it better than my opponent. Um, so I think it, it just with those two, it will, it will work well. And you know, I, I have a lot of cheeky stuff as well, like with uh, Gardevoir, for example. Um, I have a defensive team, but with so many threats as well. So I, I will, I think I will have a good season, and the team will uh, work well. Yeah, with all the defensive mods you have, you still have plenty of speed on it as well. And then uh, your late pick, uh, Lifeard, was certainly a steal at the end of the draft. Uh, you said a steal. Yeah, like it was a steal, okay. as in a uh, good pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sorry, uh, I, I misunderstood. Um, yeah, and your life can be funny uh, too with a prankster, you know. Um, I can learn Thunder Wave, Copycat, and Core. Um, it, it's not a bulky man, but I will definitely find some utility to it. And uh, yeah, it was my life pick, so uh, uh, I'm happy to have it. Oh yeah, especially um, with the prankster shenanigans, it also has pretty good power and uh, move pool, so you can do plenty with it. Yeah, exactly. So looking at the division, uh, what team do you think will give you your hardest battle? Um, just let me check real quick. My division. My division, my division. Uh, I think... Um, The Adam team. Adam's team is kind of scary with Blastoise. It's someone that I really like. Um, but real fast, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think. Matthew's team is scary as well. Uh, really fast, um, really annoying. Uh, I'm thinking about Dog Trio, Dragapult. <laughs> yeah. you never know what he's bringing. Uh, I love that one, by the way. Um, I also have Lino with Belladron, Quick Attack. Uh, Weavile is annoying as well. Starmie is fast for tier 3. And uh, it, it's a di it's definitely a, a scary team with uh, all that damage output. So I would say Matthew and Adam, but Adam especially for uh, Blastoise. You know, but he has really great pivots with Gladol. Uh, Gladol having Teleport. Um, Tornado with um, Shell Smash 2. Galarian Weezing. Uh, I wanted Galarian Weezing as well, so uh, it will be um, really two tough opponents, I think. Alrighty, well maybe I'll be the final three going into it, and uh, to end off real quick, uh, are you surprised by a Pokemon that wasn't drafted? Um, it wasn't drafted, I will check real quick. Um, Durant, Durant, yeah. I, I, I wanted the at some point with um, the Oslo ability, the Dynamax possibility as well. Um, I was really surprised he, he was he's still available. Available, sorry. Um, mm -hmm. 
the okay. damage output is just crazy on that one. So I was really surprised. Um, Crawdon too, with adaptability, you know, Aqua Jet, knockoff, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I was really surprised he's still available. Um, but real fast Sablight. Uh, I, I, I was sure someone was drafting um, Sabai. Um, he's a really annoying one. Uh, he's way better in doubles, but you know. Um, Crossel too. Crossel with uh, Shell Smash. Um, it's kind of good too in tier 4. But uh, outside of that, uh, I don't know, maybe Cryogonal. Uh, he's really bulky, so um, I was expecting him to go. But yeah. you know, overall, I think um, everyone has um, really great teams, so it's fine. Ilya is too, I think. Uh, he's fast, has access to Volt Switch, um, can really work well with his solar power. Uh, I was really surprised Eliolis was still available, but um, yeah, outside of that, uh, no surprise. Yeah, it surprised me that no one really price gouged the tier 3 picks. They've actually, uh, during their free picks, they picked from 4 and 5 as well. Yeah, um, maybe for uh, ending that question, the last one I think, um, I, I, in fact, the one I'm surprised he, he's still available is for uh, Ferrothorn. Yeah, you know, uh, I stated between Tangrowth and Ferrothorn, but uh, finally, you know, he, he's not even drafted. So uh, I was surprised at that. But overall, um, all the teams are really great. Yeah, uh, certainly everyone's been saying Ferrothorn up to this point. So yeah, I, I, and for me, I still say Halucha not being picked up was a big one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. With uh, that unburdened possibility mm -hmm. uh, and the Dynamax. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alrighty, Dracovish man. too. Dracovish too, man. Um, that thing is a Ubermon, and it's still available and sitting there. Same for Dracozol. I was expecting someone to build a sand core with Dracozol, but uh, finally, um, we're lucky they're not drafted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they just go in there and click buttons, and it's like no, never fun to face those. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to not face them for sure. Alrighty, man. Well, anything you want to say to the fans before we go? We the North, baby, and we will bring the cup to Canada. <laughs> there we no, go. But, but yeah, I hope you will enjoy, um, you know, watching my battles. I will stream all my battles probably. So um, it should be an exciting season. So uh, stay tuned, fans. Certainly, man. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, thanks for having. Uh, thanks for having me again, Joe, and. Um, uh, a good season to you as well. All right, man. Later. Later.